One of the things that was always difficult for me when I was trying to learn mathematical induction was that the examples I would see in books never showed you when it went wrong. So let's look at an example of that. So let's say we believe that P of N is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus N, which we've already seen several times now. What if for some reason we thought that was equal to N squared? Okay, so what happens when we try to prove it? So what's P of 1? Well, P of 1 is the first element. And if we use the formula, then we have 1 squared equals 1. So 1 equals 1. So that part works out. P of K then is 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus K. Okay, that really is what it would have to be. 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to the kth value. And the formula says that this would be equal to k squared, right? n is now k. And so we assume to this. And so then what is p of k plus 1? Well, it's equal to 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 plus k plus k plus 1. That part's true, right? The first k plus 1 elements, the summation of those would be this. The formula says this will be equal to k plus 1 quantity squared. So now n is equal to k plus 1, so we square it, we get this right here. This part right here is p of k. And so now we use the formula for p of k. So we get that p of k plus 1 is equal to k squared plus the extra k plus 1. And now if we just use the formula directly, this is supposed to be equal to this. k plus 1 squared, which is equal to k plus 1 times k plus 1. And that's equal to k times k is k squared. Okay, that's looking good. k times 1 is 1k, plus 1k is 2k, plus 1. Here we have a single k, here we have 2k, so they're different. And so we've just demonstrated that's not true in general. If I stop at 1, as we saw, then it works. But even then, even just doing a couple of them, we could have seen that actually already, right? What's p of 2? P of 2 is equal to 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 2 squared is 4. So it's already broken. So you could have situations where maybe for the first couple it works, but after some point it doesn't work. And this demonstrates that. Okay? In general. So look at things like this. That really helped me a lot to look at things where it didn't work in situations where it did work and see the mechanics of it and also just to help me get a better feel for what the process is. I think if you do that, it will help you better understand how to prove things by induction. Okay.